Hello, sexy Scorpio. Love me some Scorpio energy. How y'all doing, baby? So, these readings are for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. As we're listening for love, my friend. Lots and lots of love. So, I hope you're doing super fantabulous. If you're new to my channel, where the hell have you been? We really want you here. So, make sure you hit that like, that share, that subscribe. And better yet, if you like tarot, and you like to know what's going to happen, and you like to have a good time, and you like happy hour, come join me on Instagram on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending on traffic, because I live in Houston, Texas, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'd be going live and doing readings for 11.11 or 22.22. All right? So, if you're a returning family member, ya tu sabes, friend. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Okay, so it's Scorpio. What's going on, big baby? How you doing? All right, let's jump into these beautiful reads for you. We have on October 2nd, that new moon solar eclipse in a Libra, and it's got you thinking about love and understanding baby commitment what we doing taking things to the next level scorpio is re-evaluating things and and wondering what they want to do next all right on the ninth jupiter retrograde 21 degrees in gemini pay attention to your energy so we can enhance and grow on the 11th pluto Big bad Pluto. I don't care if it's little. That's some big bad energy right there, baby. Pluto is saying, what? I'm going 29 degrees. I'm going anoretic degrees in Capricorn. And that's a lot of Capricorn. All right. So be prepared. There will be a lot of revelations, a lot of transformation, a lot of energy coming through. 29 degrees in a chart is a lot of energy. But this is also like someone might feel like they're in a rush to get something done with major transitions. October 13th, Mercury moves into your sign, love bug. You are all about speaking the truth, this is, all right? And on the 17th, full moon in Aries, 24 degrees. And he wants you to pay attention to your talents. How are you using them to move forward? We need to be blessed with your energy, my love. All right? And Venus enters into Sag, so that's going to be pretty sexy energy. Call up a Sag. They're going to look really good. And on October 22nd, it's your season. So happy birthday, love bug. I'll come drink with you. I'll come celebrate with you. Let's go have a good time, okay? Let me some Scorpio energy. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got going on. We're going to get into the part of the read where we are going to go into a general oracle. Then we go into a general reading. Then we go into singles. Then we go into couples. And then we hit the all signs. Aries, it's a Pisces. Okay, what do we have going on for you? We got a Leo energy coming in for you, baby. And it says shine. Okay, you're going to shine bright like a Leo. This could also mean that you might have a lot of this Leo energy coming in where everybody's recognizing you. You're standing out in the crowd. Or better yet, you just might have a Leo after you. All right, or you could be after a Leo. The fifth house could also be very important for you. Pay attention to your chart. Where does it show up? What's going on? All right, your animal energy is is no other than the camel baby oh y'all remember what the way they saunter in the camel got like a little smooth move and they'll spit on you if they don't like you anyways this is about being forbearing and patient but i also want to say resourceful okay i think about the humps <laughs> the humps on the back man ow, ow. anyway okay too many drinks anyways Camel energy is very beautiful because it's about being resourceful. It's about moving to the next level, withstanding really difficult um, heat, okay? Harsh terrain. And baby, you got it going on and you're hydrated and you're looking great and you're moving through those, those obstacles very nicely, all right? Now, truth be told comes out for you when it comes to the love situation. And this is about really being honest with what it is that you truly want, removing the mask. What do you want to say? What do you want to do? This is huge transformations. 14s come down to a five. You have the number 555 five, five coming out for you. So there are a lot of changes coming in for you, Scorpio. And I also feel like what this is like opening up your heart to love, removing that mask and speaking your truth with wisdom. And I just feel like you just have so much love to give that it's time to give it. All right. We have here the divine physician coming in with the number six the sixth house could be very important that is your day-to-day -day activities here we have maybe a mentor somebody who wants to come in and help you through a situation open up your heart teach you how to heal right because we want a mind body and soul connection as we're moving forward we really want to pay attention to what we're bringing into a relationship and what does the other person bring into the relationship also it shouldn't be like what can you do for me but what do we bring to the table like what do both parties bring do we complement at each other does you know what areas do you enhance for me what areas are you showing me that i need more work in but you are like really connecting that mind body and soul energy very very beautiful energy and pay attention so far to the dates the 5th the 6th the 20th the 14th 
and the number 55. Okay, let's see what we got going on for our general message. Okay, that's the first card that wants to come out. We got an air sign. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or that could be one of your tops. Look, earth sign. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we really want intimacy, okay? A lot of intimacy, um, reminiscing, and the universe is like, baby, be patient, boo. It's coming, all right? It says... Just a few more months and good things come to those who wait. Yeah, okay. So let's see what message do we have with the air signs. What's going on here? We have a shocking surprise might be coming through with this, okay? An epiphany, a transformation. Earth signs, not enough, okay? Lacking the confidence, self-sabotaging, and a lot of frustration, okay? And with intimacy, we're releasing codependency. We're releasing addiction. We're wanting more of a connection. And patience says, go out, have fun, go party, enjoy yourself, celebrate your birthday, love bug. Do you, okay? Do you. Now, major decisions coming in with the Two of Swords, you really need to remove the blinders and see what we want. The Empress energy is about you learning to, not even learning, you realizing the prize that you really are, right? And you're going to go for it. There's something super exciting that you want to go into. You want to jump into the situation. And you're ready to make that offer with the Knight of Cups. All right, there's an offer of love coming in. And it leads to the Knight of Swords. So this double knight at the end, I also feel like maybe you've been telling yourself, I don't want to be in a relationship. And you do. Or you've been telling yourself, I want to be in a relationship. And you don't. All right. So being aware that your heart and your words are in alignment, right? Because that's how manifestations have. And withhold those boundaries. Stand strong in those boundaries with the Nine of Wands. I like those knee pads that she has. <laughs> okay. What does the Empress want you to know? The Empress says the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're cutting off situations that bring a lot of conflict for you. Things that don't even measure up to you. Because my mouse is like, nah. Come on. We ain't got no time for little bitty things like that. And the Fool said, go for it. It's the Ace of Wands. Start that fire. Start those new things. Moving forward. And these two nights' message is the Tower. There's something definitely going to shake you up this month. Okay. And it's going to work out with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> the Nine of Wands says the Queen of Wands. There it goes into that Leo energy again. So I do feel like you possibly might have a lot of Leo in your chart or you're dealing with one. And I feel like you're really standing your ground. I feel like the Empress and the Queen of Wands is the essence of the energy that you're holding when it comes to love. Like, look, I am all that and then some. And I'm not going to do, I'm not going to jump through hoops for you. Okay? But I can meet you where you can meet me. And this is about you really making an offer. And for some, there's like a, with the Tower, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, this is an energy of a big, big shocking event, okay? And I do feel like you're releasing someone who makes you feel like you're not enough or makes you feel like the relationship isn't going to go anywhere because you really want to move into more of an intimate relationship. Okay. This is the part of the reading where we go into our damn dirty singles. What's up, my singles? And ready to motherfucking mingle, all right? We ready to mingle. What's up, what's up? What do we got here for our singles? We have intuition, trust it, okay? The red flags that you choose to ignore will come back, all right? They're going to haunt you later. Someone could be expecting, expecting good news, expecting a baby. Please don't message me and say, I can't have a baby, okay? Then that message was not for you, okay? And not for you, friend. And move on. Someone is an unavailable and a waste of time. It's over, okay? And then we have overall air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in this situation or another, all right? So let's get clarity. If intuition feels like your message, let's tune in your energy to the cards and see what it's telling you to check out. Know your worth. If someone is making you feel like you're not enough, that is that is either their behavior is triggering you in that train of thought, and we need to, like, really check ourselves. All right? Pregnancy. Someone is very in love, expecting some good news, lots of affection, and then with move on, sadness, bitterness, okay? Thinking about your uncertain future, you're really ready to move on from that. And with the air sign energy, we want clarity and truth, okay? We're like, look, I want to know what's really going on. What is all this about? Because ain't nobody got time to be a mind reader, all right? 
I always say if you can stick your wet knots in other people's wet knots in your mouth or in other areas, okay, then we can have adult conversations and we can be clear about what we want and where we stand. We don't have to beat around the bush if you get what I mean. We need clarity, friend. Okay, we need clarity. Let's see. What do we got coming in for you guys? What do we have? We have the Knight of Cups. I feel like you were ready to like connect. You're ready to meet somebody. You're gonna go for it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna you gotta jump in. All right, with the with the hangman. Lots of Pisces energy coming in. And then we have the three of wands, like a lot of success looking towards the future. Okay. We are trusting our intuition. And I feel like the, this, this high priestess is touching the separation and the move on. If in your mind you're like, this really isn't moving anywhere because we're all in different you know, situations. You're like, this, this situation just isn't really feeding my soul anymore. Then that's your, trust what you're feeling, okay? Trust what you're feeling. You're feeling it for a reason. And then we have the chariot, so a major victory coming in for you. Overall energy, we have something new that wants to come through with the ace of pentacles. Okay, why oh, Why do we want to offer our love? Let's see, Scorpio, what do we got going on here? We said the five of wands. We want to put ourselves out there, but we're a little conflicted. You could have seen someone you really had a connection with and seen them out with someone else. And you're like, man, I really need to move on. You know, like what's going on here? There's that five again. Then we have a higher fin. Some, some of you are really wanting to get a connection. Like you're tired of the dating scene. You want something that's like very um, traditional, secure. Like you want to build and grow with someone. Okay. The hanged man is coming through with the moon, and it's a full moon up there, okay? So I kind of feel like in this situation, it's about really diving deep into your emotions, really getting into those feels. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? What is it that you desire in a relationship, right? Because you are tired of being in the five of pentacles. Almost like you give, 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 and you're not receiving anything back. You feel like every time you're giving into a situation, the person goes off with someone else. It's a waste of time. Like, what is it all about? You're ready to build with someone. Seven of Pentacles. So what does the High Priestess want you to know in this situation? There is the Queen of Wands. So you could have met someone who you really like the way they dress. The Queen of Wands is a person, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, doesn't have to be their sign. But this is a person who is very secure in who they are. They, they can, baby, they buy the bacon, they fry the the bacon they are everything okay and they know how to make things work and your intuition is saying like hey I I want to I want to be with someone who can make things work so I'm gonna release all those things that no longer are working for me there's the door bitch okay because the chariot said the four of Pentacles so we are moving on from situations that make us feel like we're not enough like what is that about okay I do feel that whoever you make this offer to has been waiting for you to make this offer. They've been like, "I, where have you been, Scorp? Like, I've been waiting here for you, and you just didn't even want to show up. But hey, I'm here for you, guy, okay? The Ace of Pentacles comes through because we're releasing this Ten of Pentacles. Some of us have been kind of hurt because the person that you possibly wanted to be in a relationship has decided that they wanted to move in a different direction. So now you're willing to plant your seed somewhere else with this beautiful wheel, okay? Because I would show more, but I can't. And that double ten is also with the Ace of Pentacles. I do want to say this. Like, there's a big opportunity coming in financially for you at work. Possibly recognition. Apply for that job. It's going to work in your favor. Justice is about to be had. I do think that for some of the singles that we have here, you're really moving on from a situation that really, like, not that it made you insecure, but it made you question your worth, right? And you want the clarity. And sometimes we think closure comes from, like, a conversation with someone. No, closure comes when we decide that we want something different. And we're going to close the door on the things that aren't working for us anymore. Whether that person apologizes, whether that person feeds our ego and lets us feel good, no. It doesn't matter at this point. If you want something, right, you really wanna move forward and you have an opportunity with a fire sign coming through here, okay? There's this, or another water sign, okay? Um, there's a situation of you having to pick somebody who wants the same things that you do in life. And I do think that there's something about a trip. You want to go on a trip with this person. You've been on a trip with this person with this nine and this 10 right next to each other. And I think you're going to make an offer. And I do see things moving in a very healthy direction. So I do think someone is coming in. It's a matter of you really wanting it though. 
Like, how bad do you really want it? Because they want you. They want to start something with you. So for those that are in separation or wondering what that person from the past is thinking, what do they want? What do we got going on with that? They were very unsatisfied. Um, they weren't. They didn't like the way things were going, or you didn't either. They're very confused on why there's still a pool with you, and there was just different responsibilities. Okay. Um, and a lot of gossip in this situation, a lot of like hearsay, what other people thought of the situation and things like that, okay? And maybe you were the one that was unsatisfied and confused. You're like, what the fuck? I don't even know what happened. Um, they keep hoping to bump into you. Y'all could, y'all could be in the same circle of friends and they don't even know how to handle their emotions and nothing will compare to you. But you deserve better than them. Like, you, they know that you deserve better than them, but <coughs> they don't know how to release. So maybe they are watching your social media. Maybe they are trying to, like, look and see what what is going on with you and how you've been. But it's just, like, you're ready to move on for something new. So who is a good match for Scorpio that wants to come in? So we have brown hair, big tongue, ow, okay? Aquarius energy, and there's something about their voice. And this person could be a friend, okay? Or very friendly with the dog energy. We have the house, very solid individual, built like a brick house, okay? Cancerian energy. We have very tall um, Capricorn energy, very like straight lace kind of energy. And then we have Taurus coming in or somebody who is tall, dark, and handsome. All right. We also have Leo, very playful energy, very lighthearted, petite. And this person can also be um, like a breath of fresh air. They could be a lot, they look a lot younger than what they really are. Okay. So what does a dog want us to know? The yoga card. Hey, do you want to go work out with me? What do you think about going to work out? Or they're very flexible with you. They just love being around you. The fourth could be important. We have the acai bowl with the house. They like to eat. They like to cook. Your person likes to cook. So maybe they're like, hey, you want to come over and I cook for you? Or like they're very nurturing kind of energy. This person works like either at a bank or like... Um, I can even say this person could be in education or they work in a building where there's something about education or learning new things, training, development. And you could meet this person online. Um, there's something about the number 33 also, so you could be seeing the number 333, okay? And with the child, we have the Uber. So this person does not like to drive. I don't like to drive. <laughs> But I have to. Um, they might they might call Ubers a lot. They might drive for Uber. There's something about their car also. So there's something always about their car with this individual. Okay, let's get some initials for you, and then we're gonna go into our beautiful couples. Okay, let's see here. We have M Q N N R. -a, okay. M N Q N R and I'm looking at an A, okay? Initials, letters in their name, something important for you, okay? So let's get into our beautiful couples. These are people who know that they are in a relationship, seeing each other, talking to each other, hanging out, maybe married, I don't know, but they know each other's names, all right? Not just in here, friend. All right, let's see what we got for our couples. We have a yes! All right, luck is on your side. We have, yes, okay, someone's going through a breakup, divorce, and give it time. All right, things will start to flow. And something about Mercury retrograde, or I always think about with this card is like, maybe this is a time to kind of pay attention to how we're communicating with each other, slowing down, and really like paying attention to what it is we want, need, and desire. There's something with the energy of a car too, because the car is there and then the car is looking at me here. So let's get more clues in this situation. What are we saying yes to? Why is luck on our side? Yes to the karmic relationship. There is, uh, we're letting it go. We're letting go of a karmic relationship. The divorce card says we're cutting ties with someone who's no longer healthy for us, moving on. And what are we giving time to? We're giving time to love. Okay. Messages of love. They're thinking about you. 
And we're releasing outdated thinking, okay? Old school Mercury retrograde. We are getting over the past. We're moving forward. Some of us are going through a breakup or a divorce, you know? Not all love reads are going to be like puppy dogs and rainbows. But I think like if this is, if that part fits for you, great. If it doesn't, leave it for someone who needed to hear it, okay? This is not a personal reading. You can hit my link tree and we can do that alone. Okay. All right, let's see. What is your person thinking right now? Your person is thinking about the Ten of Pentacles, that you're the complete package. They want to move forward. What's going on? They want to start fresh again with the Page of Pentacles. They also could be thinking about their children or your y'all's children or a new endeavor. They see you as the Empress. They love being around you. They love how full of life you are. Maybe you're really good with children. Maybe they see like, oh my gosh, you are just like everything I wish I could, you know, be with. They're acting like the five of wands, so there is some conflict. There could be conflict with family, conflict with finances. What comes between you guys is a page of swords. Are we willing to learn new things? Are we willing to speak from the heart? All right? And temperance. So we've got to learn to take things easy moving forward. All right? And then the overall energy we have here is the four of pentacles. So I kind of feel like your person is being very, like, I don't know if I can share this with you. I don't know if we can really talk about this anymore. Some of y'all do have children together. That could be an issue right now. We're in conflict on how we're doing things. Two pages in a read is also about a special message that you need to know. What do the two pages want them to know moving forward? The two pages said we're very upset with the five of cups. Very heartbroken with the three of swords. So there could be some breakups because of family issues or family things with the ten of cups. Okay? So there's a lot of sadness going on there for some of y'all. Does not mean that's for everyone, but that's what those two pages are saying. So maybe we're sad because of the kids. Maybe we're sad because we were going to have kids. We, we had all these beautiful plans, and now it's not what it used to be. Okay? Ten of Pentacles, what do we have for a Scorpio? We have the Eight of Cups. So someone feels very rejected here. She don't even want to She's like, what the fuck you want to? I don't even want to hear you, okay? She's so like, whatever. So that we feel like things are changing and they want that loving feeling back with the Ace of Wands. So someone feels like they're being very much rejected, like physically, and they don't understand why. The number 81 is popping out, okay? The page wants you to know, I'm covering things up, the moon, okay? So there could be something about um, new information around the full moon, about travel, and about moving forward with the six of wands. But they just want to see your booty, okay? The moon. <laughs> the empress wants you to know the ace of cups. They adore you. Your person just sees you as everything. I don't know why your person is, is acting so conflicted right now. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So this could be a message for someone who you've met. And maybe you all started off as like um, just fun. You're just having fun. We're not trying to have like a full-blown relationship. But somebody is catching feelings here. And they're very conflicted. And they're not sure if they want to stay single or if they want to be in a relationship. The Page of Swords is the Four of Cups. There's mixed emotions for this individual. They don't know because they love the passion. They love the desire. They love what's going on. And they love the magic between you guys. And they feel like when you guys are together, it's like they learn new things about themselves. They learn new things about you. And it's exciting. Temperance wants you to know... The pay, the, is this the, pay? the Knight of Wands. A lot of passion between you guys. It's almost like unbridled passion. Like, because if you think of the Knight of Wands, that is like the quickest guy in the Knights. Okay? This Knight does not think about consequences. This Knight says, let's do it. And we're getting it done. So there is a lot of passion here. With strength and um, a lot of Sag and Leo energy coming in here. So I'm going to say there's a lot of passion there. So there's very strong connection. Um, and they're holding back because of the Three of Swords. Okay. They've been holding back something because they do feel like either they messed up or you messed up. And they don't know how they're going to move forward with this. And also someone feels like, okay, what if I let this person in my life and... They hurt me like everybody else does. So there's that energy there. But I do think someone's going to ask you if you want to go on a trip or you went on a trip. There's something about a trip. And on this trip, there's a lot of thought about like, oh, my gosh, like I really do want to be with this person. Um, I'm going to call him. I'm going to change the way I look at love. I want to move to the next level. I want this to work. Um, 
but they are really conflicted. There's especially for those who thought this was just going to be a fun relationship and it's turning out to be more. It's one of those like, I don't even think I want to be alone anymore. I really want to be with this person. So that energy is coming in very strong. All right. Wow. Who? Oh my gosh. This is so sexy. All right. It's so sexy. I like it. It's so good. All right. Let's see here. Let's get like some messages. What does, um, what does Scorpio need to know moving forward? Okay. What does Scorpio need to know moving forward? Oh my gosh. I have a friend who's responding to my stories and I had post, I do like little mini reads and she was like, how have you gotten it right every day? I'm like, ah! so I love when I get those, those messages. All right, some good news is coming in for you with the bouquet, all right? Good news about love. Like, there's a lot of beauty coming in. It's stable. Things are going to get stable again. Something new and fresh is coming in. And you could be meeting someone who has children or y'all have children together. And this is you, Scorpio. You're going to go after it. You're like, this has been too good to be true. I, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do this. And your heart is really like anchored in this situation. Strong Leo, strong Taurus energy coming in. Okay. Let's get you some Oracle and then we will get into the all signs reading. Okay. Let's see here. We have your message as a lot of abundance. Finances are going to be really, really good. The 11th could be important. There's also something about balance. Libra season is going to be important for you, especially if you're going on a trip. All right. So there's a lot of balance and a lot of abundance in your sacral energy, which is very creative energy, a lot of sexy energy. OK, and there is money coming in. Very Queen of Pentacles vibe. Focusing on your coins. There's balancing. I do think if you're in a court case or anything like that, that you're going to win. All right? And don't be afraid to go on this trip. Don't be afraid to go for it because it's going to lead to a very caring relationship. Okay? A big connection. And I want to say the 14th is... I already have it written down for you. The 14th is going to be very important for you. All right. For those that thought that this was just a sneaky link or just like a hookup, like they didn't know that they were going to catch feelings, this, this is for you. You didn't know you were going to catch feelings, but what is the other person feeling towards you? They feel like they, they, they sabotaged it because it was getting so intense and they want to hold you again and they want to make things right. They, they love to see you smile. They laugh with you all the time. They want to treat you right. They want to be the person that makes you happy. And they're afraid that they're going to lose you because they approach this as just a schmexual relationship and they want more. Okay, so somebody in that connection wants more with you. All right, Scorpio, let's do the all signs. All right, let's do all signs here. So this is the part of the reading where we go Aries to Pisces. And yes, take the parts that fit and leave the rest for someone else. Important dates are the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 14th, the 23rd. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'm cutting the deck. I have the sun reversed with the two of cups. Some of y'all don't want to fall in love. You don't want anyone to know that you're falling in love or someone doesn't want to be. They don't want to tell you they're in love with you. Okay, there's this energy of like, I can't say nothing yet. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, Scorpio, why are you like this? Okay, why are you so secretive? All right, let's see. Are we ready or ready? We, no, we're, no, we're not ready. That was an odd number. Let's see, ready? Nope, odd number again. Ooh, ooh, those. See, you don't know if you want to be single or not. You don't know what you want. You're kind of like, I don't know. Okay, this is it right here. All right, here you are as the queen of wands. You are feeling yourself. You are all that and a bag of chips, a little boosy up in here, that independent baby. And your, your energy of Aries, your Aries that you have your eye on is moving a little bit too slow for you, okay? And you want more passion. So if Aries doesn't speed it up, you're going to go find your own king, okay? The 13th could be important. You are stuck. You're really not feeling this. And Taurus is praying for help in this situation because they feel like, feel like things could be really good, but almost like they don't know if you're playing with them, okay? So they're like, what do I do? Is this affecting my self-worth? What do I really value? You feel very defeated with the Five of Swords, and Gemini is not showing you the attention that you deserve, 
and we need to talk about it. We need to have a conversation. I feel like Gemini feels very much like they've been played and you feel the same, all right? The six could be important. Here you are at the six of pentacles. You're kind of moving with patience. You're like, okay, let me see what's going on. Cancer is being very silent about how things are moving and they're spying. I do think Cancer is spying on you. They're like, what is a Scorpio doing? I need to know. And they're not sharing too much. The 10th could be important. We don't know if we want to talk to Leo anymore. And Leo is trying to heal from something. And we are not sure if we want to revisit this relationship with the Leo. Okay. Important date is the 10th. Here you are being brave, facing things, and Virgo is like, can we just get into bed and have a good time? And someone's apparatuses are not working. Mm. The third could be important. Someone is very upset about that. Like, are we, are we, gonna, are we gonna do this? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, if we're not gonna do this, shabai, okay? And then it doesn't work. Yeah, not fun. Here you are, the Ten of Swords, all those red flags, okay? And Libra is not failing it. They're like, it's a no. And it was a false start, all right? Lucky day is the 16th. Here you are. You feel very much betrayed, very much left out in the open with the Nine of Swords. And the other Scorpio feels like they are standing on business. Y'all are friends. Everything's good. And someone is going to be making a peace offering. The 20th could be important. Here we are as the Knight of Swords. We don't want to talk. We don't want to walk. And we sure as hell don't want to be around this person, okay? And Sagittarius is like, hey, I made you something. Come over here, friend. Forget about it, all right? We'll be fine. Let's get married. Let's have fun. And you're like, I'm done. The 20th could be important. Now, here you are at the Nine of Pentacles, living happy, being single, okay? And Capricorn is tempted by you, like Capricorn. And you're like, look, I am good. I don't need to be in. living in your temptation over here. So trust your intuition in this situation, all right? The first could be important. Here you are at the Ten of Cups, complete package, looking good, feeling good, and Aquarius is praying about this situation, and the solution is, let's get together, all right? Aquarius wants you, okay? They want you, all right? They have faith in the connection. They're like, that is my Scorpio, and I love them. Oh, so sweet. Here you are as the Five of Pentacles. You're feeling like a little bit, um, either someone spoke very harshly or there was something with finances and Pisces isn't talking about it. They're just like, whatever, all right? And they feel like it's going nowhere. They don't feel like there's any success in this situation. Lucky day, the second. All right, love bug. I hope you have a beautiful month. Be sure to come hang out with me on Instagram and be blessed. Take care.